Hey guys, Barb from TST Industries here. In this episode of TST Garage, I will be showing you how to install our Gen 2F flasher relay on the 2018 Kawasaki Ninja 400. Why would you want this part? In case you've changed your OEM incandescent signal lamps to LED style signals or went with an integrated tail light, you will notice that your signaling system will start flashing much faster. If you've changed both front and rear to LED signals, the flash rate will be dramatically faster. So, if you want to restore your 85 cycle per minute OEM flash rate, this is the component for you. This is a plug and play component. It fits right under the front fairing here. We'll show you exactly how to do that in this video. And then we'll also show you how to adjust this because once you slip this cover off, you could adjust the flash rate by accessing this little potentiometer, turning it clockwise versus counterclockwise will enable you to change the flash rate and then you just snap it back together, put it back on the frame and you're good to go. It's a very simple installation. It actually requires some steps beneath the fairings that I will perform first just to show you just how fast this installation is. And then we're gonna strip the bike down and show you in detail what we did underneath. But the removal of any of these uh, fairing pieces is not necessary. This is just for you guys to see exactly what I did. Let's get started and have some fun. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do here is show you guys exactly where the OEM relay sits. If you stick your hand in through here, the first thing you will touch is that relay. It is mounted via rubber keeper onto one of the tabs that are welded onto the frame. So first we'll need to dislodge it, pull it up, and and wrap it back around a section of frame that's over there. Pull it out towards the top and there we go. All we have to do is unplug it, plug ours back in, make sure it's working. And then our relay has this tab on it. We'll use that to hang it onto the frame with and then zip tie it in place. I'm going to use one of these small zip ties. All right, and there it is. So now let's take it from the top, take off this fairing. I'll show you guys exactly what I did. So this is your flasher relay. Now remember, you don't need to remove these panels to work on it, just like I demonstrated in the previous cut. This will come off and what I did to get more length of wire to work on it up here was I got it around this frame component and I had access to it here. For illustration here, I will just be holding it here right in front of you. Slip that off, plug the TST unit in. If you wish to adjust it, this is a good time to adjust it. I'll slip off the gray cover Use a small flathead screwdriver to pry these tabs off. And then this comes out. Make sure that while you're powering up the bike, none of these components here ground out. It will cause a short. I'll use a small Phillips on this adjuster. Turn it clockwise, turn it counterclockwise. And at some point you will arrive at a flash rate that is suitable for you. I'm going to keep it here. Replace my gray cover. Now, you'll notice here on this cover, there is a channel that accepts the circuit board. This is the only way that this will fit on. So make sure you identify that first. I will place this tab over the tab that held our OEM signal relay. And then using a zip tie, I'll get that fixed in place. All right, now, since you will most likely be doing this under the fairing panels, getting a cutting device in there is kind of tough, so we'll just leave it without cutting it. This is pretty much good to go. The installation's complete, and that's it. All right, guys, this was a very simple installation. As you can tell, the part, Really, it just does what it's supposed to do. It's plug and play, it's cost effective, it won't bust your wallet, 
and it will fix your flash rate in case you've changed your OEM signals to LED type signals. I hope you'll consider visiting tstindustries.com where you'll find more information about these parts and other parts for the Ninja 400 and other bikes. See you guys there.